I guess the <laughs> this is. I'm maybe M A Y B Kappa. Looks like we have uh, no stream at the moment, Kappa. Let's just commentate the player faces. <laughs> I see Corn. <laughs> Sun too smiling. He definitely did something cool. I hear Sheik down smash. Someone's spamming. Oh, he just did a dash attack to fair. I, I heard can. that. I, can. I can hear the game. Oh, down smash again. I like using it. Oh, there it is. All right, so Sun Two, Sun Two, I'm guessing is the Falco that is about to die. One sixty. Corn just dying on the other side. Rare to see a Falco sock tanking, you know? I think Sheik is a very good character to take point with. Yeah. Yeah, because... Oh, yes, now I have green coming out of me. I just Ooh. explained something really cool, but you know what? I'll let it go. You'll never know. Accidentally edgehogging his teammate there. Oh wait, we weren't. The stream couldn't hear us. No, the key, they could hear you, but not me. Oh, that's yeah, alright. No worries. Okay, he gets the knockdown on the forward tilt. You know, um, a lot of people like jump right afterwards. <laughs> not no matter. Yeah, we'll break the universe if you meta commentate. Ooh, F tilt fair. Some two should live that. Nah, never mind. Yeah, we got that edge, edge steal. Yes, that is great. Covering the roll. Always stay one roll inwards from your teammate. Um, yes. That way you can cover that. You can cover every option that way. Yeah, super free, actually. And you can yeah. cover it with something strong. You get a really strong punish on right, it. Sun 2 trying to stay alive here. Even game. Falco. Red Falco kind of at death percent. Yeah, I mean, that it's cliched, but he kind of spawns at death percent, right? Yes. Uh, especially when he's staying that close to the edge. 
That's the problem with staying by the edge. You get hit off once, you're dead. Yeah, and that's why I think Falco's so strong from the center. Yeah. And, you know, I um, spoke quite a, uh, quite a length with uh, Spark and Rocky about this very team, and they said that center control is pivotal to having success. Yeah, for sure. Because if Falco can live, he can control the game, like, with his lasers, you know. Yeah, Team combos sure. are kind of free. Yeah, so you can sort of like go in with uh, walling with Sheik, you know, stop them from coming to you. And if it goes poorly, go ahead and throw in a laser. Yeah. Blue is a uh, Sun 2 and a uh, Corn, I'm pretty sure. All right, this should be uh, this should be dead. Yeah, they cover everything. Then. Yep. Table Relic is red, yeah. Wait, let's hear your strikes, just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it's two out of three. Yes, yes, two out of three. Oh, maybe I should be warming up. Nah, it's okay. Kappa. <laughs> Kappa. Kappa. I don't need to Let's warm up. Ban. I play Fox. They strike Yoshis because they don't want to have the whole, uh, you know, chaotic gameplay here. Yeah, I mean, it's Yoshis? just preference at that point, right? Wait, who struck Yoshis? They did. That's. I mean, that makes sense. I think that they were stronger with a more fundamental center control style and there's less of that on Yoshi's because there's less stage to control yeah so it sort of just mitigates your ability to do that the stadium's they, the counter pick here they go with the ICs um, there's know, also a fox here now oh wow yes we have a few changes uh so corn's going his main now it's always a good idea in doubles you know just go your main yeah um, go your better character even though they did well with the Sheik you know what you're gonna do yeah I think ICs do really good on this stage anyway. Yeah, for sure. I there's, think a lot of space is nice for them. There's not much, like, vertical escape room for the other players either, yeah. so that wave dash down smash is just uh, extra strong. Yep. And Sun 2 again at, like, basically 0%. Yep, yeah, and that's the way you really want to play him, a nice, safe Falcon. You can see the spacing um, with that dash dance, just trying to keep himself safe. Yeah, he's trying to stay in a spot where he can't get gimped or team comboed easily. Sopo is actually kind of underrated in teams, I think. He's better than he is in singles, at the very least. Yeah. He, he hits pretty hard. He has some decent disjoint. And because... Um, a lot of his moves, like his up air and back air, kind of combo pretty decently, too. Yeah, and you can get your teammate to sort of generate the beginnings of the combos for you. So it's not yeah. like... It doesn't have the same problem he does in singles, where he has problems getting something started. Yeah. You don't have to outplay them. You can let your partner do that. And just finish them off, yeah. Oh, a reverse back air. That definitely would have killed on the other side. Right. Both players at super high percent right here. Red team's struggling. And Spacey's flying everywhere. Yeah, the Ooh. windmill, of course, aiding Fox as it always does. All right, this should be dead. Right, I like the back air. Yeah, that's got to finish up. I would have F-smashed with the back air. You know, same thing. I would have F-smashed, but you know what? I probably would have hit Corn, and then Corn would have <laughs> died somehow. And then the Fox would have lived, or the Falcon would have lived. Yeah, yeah it would have would have turned bad. Oh, Sun 2 with a very bad jump from ledge. I don't know what that was. He didn't even laser. Like, he just, like, jumped from the ledge. Yeah. I have no idea, actually. Maybe he was, like, trying to delay it or something? I don't know. I have no clue. It didn't work out in this any input, case. maybe. Okay, you can see um, right there Sun 2 was on the platform trying to control the space underneath with back airs and down airs. That way, the red team does not have a way to escape. Yeah. They're forced to fight the ICs or... Um, just stay on the edge. If they roll, they get hit, and the combo gets started. Yep. Damn. This Falco's probably dead here. Oh, well, no. Yeah, That's he was hard. a little late on that. You know, I've seen um, some players from the ledge there, when they're a little bit late, they do jump side B as opposed oh, to trying to get yeah. an aerial. And it actually kind of yeah, works pretty well. Up sometimes, mm -hmm. get a back air. He might have yeah. been worried about what the um, his other teammate, other red teammate would have done. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing from these teams is, like, they aren't really team comboing. They're kind of playing it like it's singles. Yeah, they're sort of splitting them up. And you know what? It's been working out for the blue team thus far. I think um, yeah. they have a higher maybe single aggregate skill level, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, across either matchup. And I think ICs are a bit stronger in singles than doubles. I don't know if I want to say that for sure. But yeah. they're as strong at the very least. For sure. They have a hard time dealing with two people. Almost got the grab. All right. Yeah, yeah, they just want just this grab and they'll up. just wobble you can, it. You can, you can down tilt to help wobble, right? Oh, he's doing jab. I think down tilt will pop him up. Oh, my God. Is he dead that F tilt? Basically. Maybe it's just foxes. Right, I, think, uh, I think I have to play now. I think you're up. Oh, yeah. dang. I got to get back in the mindset. Wait, am I not up? I think you're up. you said Kappa? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> full of memes. <laughs> well, it was nice commentating one match with you. That was a very good commentary hopefully right there. We'll, hopefully we'll get some in singles. Yes.